My name is Nathan Ashman, I'm lead teacher for new technologies uh, here at St Wilfrid's Academy in Blackburn. Ever since the emergence of um, virtual reality and accessibility through like, smartphones, I've been really excited to get into a classroom situation. So what ClassVR allows us to do um, is to take students into another environment um, anywhere in the world. What's great about it is that they can experience that environment in 360, so they can turn around, they can look up, they can look down, and they can imagine themselves actually being there. And that has a really big impact on their retention of information and their learning experience because they're having a real experience while they've got the headsets on. From the second you open the box and show students those VR headsets, there's an amazing buzz around the classroom. They're excited to get involved. So I've used Class VR with my Year 8 boys. They're a low ability literacy group um, and I was introducing them to some pre-19th century war poetry and I felt that this was going to be a huge task for them, very daunting. The vocabulary in the text um, was going to be challenging for them. When I placed those boys within the trenches, in that virtual reality space, they were able to answer a lot of their questions themselves. They were making connections and they could really understand what it would be like to be in those trenches. Then when I introduced the poetry to the students, they had a level of empathy and understanding that they wouldn't have had without that experience. And through their writing about those poems, I could see the progress that they'd made. Immersive learning is really moving forward in schools. So the students aren't just isolated in their own immersive world. They're putting headsets on, they're taking them off, they're talking to each other about their experiences, um, just naturally without even being asked to. When Nathan came to me to ask about using Class VR headsets with my students, my initial reaction was unease and worry. I mean, the idea of having these boys in a space with technology was daunting. I'm a bit of a technophobe myself. And actually, behaviour, I was worried this could be an issue. I didn't need to worry. The boys were so engaged and excited about using this technology that there was no issues with behaviour. It really does sort of um, provide a virtual reality solution which is accessible, easy to use. What's also great about it is that as a teacher, you can then lead the students through a particular topic, or you can also allow the students to navigate that for themselves. So um, it's good to give the students a little bit of autonomy in, in what they do, but at the same time, as a teacher, you want to have that control as well, which is brilliant. The portal is very easy to use, so you literally just drag and drop in activities that you want to create, um, and the amount of content on there is, is is amazing. We want to make our curriculum specific to our students. Being able to put our own content on there really makes it more purposeful for our students in our school. We've been fortunate enough to get 360 cameras, so taking images um, wherever we are is relatively straightforward. Um, then we'd have to upload those to the portal. But if we want to go to, let's say, a place of worship and take some images there, we can then take that back into the classroom for students to see in all year groups rather than just the ones who went on the trip. Class VR is different because the package is complete. There's no need for mobile phones. Um, it's a, a case of where the students can pick it up out of the box and start using it straight away. If you're at all unsure about using this technology in the classroom, my advice would be to have a go yourself. Put on the headset and see how this would be really engaging for our students.